never mind my t-shirt I just finished the workout I did a crossfit session for about one one hour plus one hour and 10 15 minutes and uh, today's video is going to be a little bit different because it's almost one and a half months since my surgery now if you haven't seen the previous episode about my appendicitis surgery uh, I'll link it up here and today's video is basically a vlog a recap of um, the recovery now why I'm making this video well it's very simple I want people who may be going through the surgery or who just had it to have some information of how of how uh, you know how the recovery can go for them uh, obviously everyone is different but I would like to share my experience my recovery experience because I basically didn't know what I will do when I had the surgery I had no idea how long it would take me every source is different uh, some people say that it takes three to six months some people say you can recover fully within a month so I thought I would document my recovery journey and then share it with you and uh, that way you have an idea of how it can go so a little bit about me just to give you an idea I am not a super athlete okay I have recently gone through a, a certain uh, transformation maybe we could say that in a sense that I have lost quite a lot of weight from 2020 I gained quite a bit of weight and uh, then I basically had enough one day we traveled to Long I will link the episode here and we had to climb up the, um, the hill because the city is amazing it's like a medieval city on the top of a hill in the middle of nowhere and um, I couldn't like I was climbing up but I was out of breath so not only is this city really windy but we also have to go all the way up there oh and I'm already out of breath oh I can't breathe oh my goodness I'm so not fit apparently almost there and you want to do crossfit I will <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Almost there. Oh my goodness. Whew. Really, this is too much. So I decided that I would go and sign up for CrossFit because this is the sport that I really enjoy. So I was regularly going to CrossFit and uh, I've lost a lot of weight. In fact, I lost about 10 kilos, but then I gained muscle as well. So in total, I lost about six, seven kilos. I'm much stronger, much more agile. And uh, obviously my endurance is much higher. And then uh, the surgery hit me in July this year and I had to stop everything, obviously. What scared me the most, even at that time, is how long I would have to stop the gym for, you know, because I was making progress, I don't want to lose the muscle mass that I gained. In the beginning, after surgery, I stayed in bed for about four or five days. I could not really move that much and uh, I've already documented a little bit about it in my previous episode on the actual surgery experience linked up and then I thought you know what I need to start walking a bit I was already walking at home but I needed to go out of the house so I think about five days after surgery I decided to go out so today's the first day that I'm trying to go and uh, excuse the walls in my building but uh, basically today's the first day where I'm getting out of the house since coming back from the hospital and it's been I would say it's been what five days five or six five days yeah uh, since my release from the hospital and it's been a week since my surgery as you can see I can stand I cannot stand completely straight up properly but you know what I thought uh, I have to start progressively taking a little bit of a walk so I'm gonna pass by uh, Boulangerie and I'm gonna pass by my church just to sit there a little bit and then continue walking a bit and my plan is to try and walk every day and then see how far I can go uh, without really losing too much energy, without overworking myself and without feeling like I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> so let's see. But yeah, this is the speed that I'm walking, uh, that I'm walking with, it's crazy. But well, now, I'm back home, going up. Um, it feels right, but I didn't want to go too far. I didn't wanna stress myself anyway. But it feels nice to go out, it feels nice to breathe some air. Even though there are cars, it's not really super fresh, but still, you know. Frankly, it was extremely tiring and um, my whole body was just like, what the hell, you know, I, it didn't have energy. And, and you know, I, uh, it was an interesting experience, you know. So day five of recovery 
and um, I'm supposed to be walking every day, but I didn't walk on day four because what happened was on day two, I went and I walked 1.3 kilometers. And what happened was as a result, I uh, got uh, on day three, I still walked to my boulangerie, which was like less than a kilometer. It was around 400 meters, I think in total, or maybe 500. And um, that day I got so much pain in the lower stomach at the end of the day. And um, so I thought maybe I pushed myself too far and uh, I took a day off yesterday. I still moved around the house. I still um, sat down. I was working to publish the episode, which I did, um, but I was sitting in front of the um, in front of the computer, and uh, which involved basically sitting down, right? Even that was really, really difficult. So yesterday evening, I finished my day being absolutely drained of energy. I had no energy whatsoever. I realized that standing or sitting for a very long time tires me a lot, and then by the end of the day, I feel like. I have no energy whatsoever and in fact sometimes I get pain in my lower stomach so today since I took a day off yesterday today I'm going to go to my boulangerie I'm not gonna go anywhere further than that I'm going to walk to boulangerie come home and take it easy I still need to edit another episode for you guys and uh, so I will try to, you know, since I have some time in between episodes, I'm going to try and take it easy and edit as much as I can, but without stressing my body too much. And then I decided to run. So I've run one kilometer. Speed is around eight and a half kilometers an hour, which is quite low for me. But you know what? I'm happy. It's the first run that I'm having. I'm still continuing. And this was around without stopping except for a few seconds at the red light. And the first run was incredible. <laughs> feels so good. I'm so happy I ran out of run. Oh, it feels so good. I miss this. Here's the thing. The body really, really plays tricks on you and your mind plays tricks on you in a sense that um, after my first run, I felt so energized. I felt so strong. And, you know, I thought, you know what, I'm going to start running every day and I'm going to do this and I'm going to be back soon. Like, yeah, not so fast. Soon after, I ran again. And my goodness. Today is very difficult for me because I'm doing it in the late afternoon. Not that I feel heavy in my stomach, it's just overall I don't feel as good as yesterday. And today I'm not running as continuously as I was yesterday. I just can't. Every day is different. I came home completely, completely destroyed. I remember being so heavy. I felt so heavy down my stomach, like in the lower part of my abdomen, I felt super, super heavy, even though I didn't eat uh, anything heavy, it just felt like sore, you know, and I said to myself, you know what, Anton, maybe you shouldn't be pushing yourself that far uh, so quickly, because at the end of the day, okay, the stitches on the outside are healing up, yeah, but there are also internal stitches that take much longer. I've read it online actually in several places and I've spoken to my mother who's a doctor. Apparently your internal stitches take at least six months, around six months to properly heal. Hence why you're not allowed to pick up any heavy weights uh, anytime soon. So bless Sinan, he was literally carrying everything to the house. I couldn't pick up anything heavier than five kilos. For the first, I would say two, three weeks, I didn't pick up anything heavy. Even watering plants was his task, it wasn't mine. At some point I was like, you know what, I feel bad for him. I'm not gonna make him do everything. So I kept on making many trips to my little garden just to, you know, to water my plants without asking him. And then we went on a trip to the south of France, uh, to Côte d'Azur and um, our series are coming up. The whole trip I wasn't carrying the suitcases. I paid attention to be honest. I am still paying attention to heavy weights. Today, I don't know, I think it's a little month and two days though, two days more uh, since surgery and I am so so grateful, so happy, so excited that I can actually run without uh, without this feeling of something heavy hanging off my stomach. I'm so grateful to be able to slowly find my body again, to be able to feel myself again normally. And it's just so absolutely rewarding. I'm so grateful, I'm so happy. <sighs> I don't know how to describe it. Hopefully in less than, what, four days, I think I'm supposed to go back to the gym. I will stop this vlog once I feel like I'm back 
to like 80% of my capacity. So far, I think I'm at 50, not weight wise, but endurance wise, not even 50, maybe 40 maximum. But I feel so great. I had a checkup with the surgeon. It wasn't my surgeon because my surgeon was basically uh, there on a shift, but I met his colleague and he looked at my stitches and he said, yeah, you can do, you can carry everything. You know, you can go back to the gym and do whatever you were doing before. I'm like, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna take that risk. I'm not going to be lifting weights that I was lifting before. Just to give you an idea, my one rep max back squat was 100 kilos before uh, the surgery. And uh, now, I haven't dared to go above 50 kilos, not even 50, I think it was 45, yeah, 45 kilos I did. One month and a week after surgery, I came back to the gym. Obviously, I didn't do any heavy weights, but it was amazing, it felt great because I, you know, I, I just felt like my body was coming back to me and I could do things again and I could be fast again and in, in, a, in a way I would say that I felt even a little bit more energized uh, because I suddenly could do burpees much faster than I had been doing before you know and maybe my body needed this recuperation time as well maybe it needed to recover and to reset so when you go through such an incredible experience in a sense that such a shock for the body it's important to remember that you know uh, our mind is excellent at you know, at removing the negatives or making you forget the negatives and um, making you feel like you're better, you know, you're much better, you feel better. It kind of motivates you without you even asking for it. And um, I think it's important. Oh, that's nice. I think it's important to listen to your body and it's important to go easy on yourself even if your mind is telling you otherwise today i feel great i just finished the workout it's been one month and almost two months i would say one month and two and a half weeks i've been back to my crossfit box for about two weeks already i take it easy and i think that's the most important thing that i've learned take it easy listen to your body listen to what the doctors tell you this was an interesting experience a life learning experience life changing experience and uh, yeah i'm really grateful for it and i hope that this video helps you and the next video is going to be about travel thank you for joining us and if you like this kind of content or travel content because that's the main subject that we have and uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe and comment if you have had similar experience if you had the surgery like that or um, any other thing that would stop you from going to the gym or being active and how did you overcome it until the next one Au revoir.